now let us discuss about introduction to predicate logic in artificial intelligence first point predicate logic can also be called as first order predicate logic that means f o p l or first order logic that means f o l next knowledge representation in order to represent the knowledge we can use two techniques such as propositional logic and predicate logic already we have seen about propositional logic the result of a propositional logic is either true or false but not the both simultaneously let's take an example 2 is an even number 2 is an even number so what is the result of this statement true next one 5 is a prime number so let 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 we have 8 8 is a prime number the result of this statement is false so here preposition means preposition means the result of the propositional logic is either true or false but not the both simultaneously next point so in order to represent complex sentences or natural language sentences propositional logic is not sufficient instead of two i have let us assume that we have x is an even number so now what is the result of this statement suppose if x value is 8 then we can say that it returns true suppose if x value is 3 then the result of this statement is false so in order to represent these types of sentences propositional logic is not sufficient so in order to represent these types of sentences we require predicate logic we can call these sentences as natural language sentences or complex sentences so in order to represent a natural language sentence we require the predicate logic so next point predicate logic is an extension to the prepositional logic so next let us see about components of the predicate logic predicate logic mainly contains five components they are first one is objects or constants second one is variables third one is predicates fourth one is quantifiers fifth one is connectives so first one is objects or this can also be called as constant so we have constant it may be any number object or constant means any number like 5 20 30 or john a person name or any fruit name any name any name is nothing but an object object is a real world entity that has some physical existence next one is variable we know about variables variables are used for storing the values x y z a b c all those are the variables so next one is predicate predicate represent the relationship between the objects let we have an example like john loves sophie so here loves is predicate so we can represent this sentence in predicate logic as so here what is the predicate loves is the predicate john loves sophie so john is the first argument sophie is the second argument so next fourth one is quantifiers we have two types of quantifiers such as universal quantifier existential quantifier universal quantifier is represented by this symbol reverse of a existential quantifier is denoted by this symbol reverse of e for all means this universal quantifier means it is represented by for all symbol existential quantifier means there exist it is represented by there exist okay so there exist means this symbol okay if the sentence contains the phrases or words like for all for every for each for everything 
for everything or everything anything or for anything for any then we can use the universal quantifier if the sentence contains any word like all every each everything anything then we have to use the universal quantifier uh, whereas if the sentence contains words or phrases like there exist for some or for at least one for at least few so out of all we are selecting only few there exist some then we have to use the existential so uh, universal quantifier means all existential means some next the fifth fifth component of the predicate logic is connectives we have mainly five connectives such as and represented by this the symbol or represented by the symbol negation next to connective connective means implication if then by connective means by conditional if and only if so this is about introduction to the predicate logic in the next few videos we will discuss few examples on how to convert the sentences into the predicate logic i will share those videos link in the description as well as the comments please like the video subscribe to the channel as well as share the channel with your friends thanks for watching